What is dark side of human nature? It is quite curious question. Let's explore this topic. We all have friends, family, and co-workers who are usually pleasant and agreeable. The people we see regularly are usually pleasant and agreeable. They seem happy to be around us, are confident, socially responsible, and good at working with others. But sometimes we see them behave in ways that seem to different, opposite, or contradict what we know about them. This opposite side can seem like sometimes they do things that are out of character and that we don't expect. This can be because they are under a lot of stress or because they are trying to cover up something. Sometimes people do mean things to others or lie to them. Sometimes they do hurtful things without any explanation. It might be because they're having a bad day or because they're jealous of you. But usually people who are usually nice don't suddenly act mean for no reason. People who act suddenly different than usual have a dark side to their character that they try to hide. According to psychologist Carl Jung, this is called the shadow. A shadow is made up of all the qualities that people don't like about themselves. People usually don't know they have a shadow because it operates unconsciously. The shadow is different for everyone, and how big it is depends on how many qualities people are trying to hide. When people reveal the dark side, it is almost as if another person is confronting us. Their face changes, and they might start to look and sound like a completely different person. It's like their shadow comes out. The shadow is the part of us that we don't want anyone to see. It's the part that is mean or lazy, or that does things we're ashamed of. Everyone has a shadow, and it comes out more when we're stressed or when we're hurt. Sometimes it comes out more as we get older, too. The shadow is the part of ourselves that we don't like to think about or show to other people. It's the stuff we're ashamed of or that we try to keep hidden. Everyone has a shadow, and knowing about it can help us understand other people better. Do you wonder how this shadow is created? The shadow is something that is created in our earliest years. It comes from conflicting forces that we felt. In the beginning, we were all really energetic and intense. We didn't know the difference between right and wrong behavior. We just had natural impulses. Some of these impulses were aggressive, like wanting more attention than our siblings. We would feel really good sometimes, and other times we would feel really bad, even to the point of hating our parents. We wanted to be the best in some way, to be the strongest, smartest, or prettiest. And if we didn't get what we wanted, we could be really selfish. We could also hurt people on purpose or fantasize about getting revenge. So basically, we felt a whole range of emotions, and we weren't perfect angels like people might think. When you were dependent on parents for survival when you were young, you watched their every move to see if they approved or disapproved of what you were doing. If you acted out, they would discourage you from doing that. They wanted you to be a certain way so that other people would approve of them. Your parents wanted you to behave a certain way so that other people would judge them favorably. They encouraged you to be cooperative and play fair, even though you sometimes wanted to act differently. They discouraged tantrums and any other form of acting out. As we get older, we learn that it's not ought to be too different from everyone else. We have to act a certain way so that we fit in with the group and don't stand out. This can be hard, because it means we have to suppress parts of our personality that might be seen as bad by other people. We learn to control the darker parts of our personality so that we seem nicer and have more pro-social values. However, this means that a large part of our nature gets hidden away. This is how shadow is created in our nature. Most people grow up to be positive social animals, but it comes at a cost. We miss out on the intense emotions and creativity we experienced as children. We sometimes long to recapture that feeling in some way, which can lead us to do things that are sexually or socially forbidden. If we have a lot of hurts and resentments hidden away, it can make the problem worse. If we're successful in life, we can become addicted to the positive attention we receive and have a hard time when that attention goes away. It can be tough to keep up a happy front all the time, and sometimes our true feelings come out without us meaning to. It's important to be able to understand when this happens to other people too, so we can know what they're really thinking and feeling. The solution to the problem is not more repression and trying to be correct all the time. We can never change human nature by making everyone be nice. Also the solution to try and find a release for our shadow in the group, which is dangerous. Instead, it is important to become aware of our own shadow, the part of ourselves that we try to keep hidden. By doing this, we can become more self-aware and understand ourselves better. Once we are made aware of the mechanism operating within us, this means that we should become more self-aware in order to avoid doing these things. Through such self-knowledge, we can find a way to integrate the dark side into our consciousness productively and creatively. Hey, thank you for watching my video. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. It will make my day.